and Nanyang Technological University, Singapore, NTU Singapore, study has found that some Singaporeans have reported that, despite being aware of the existence of deepfakes in general, they believe they have circulated deepfake content on social media which they later found out was a hoax. Deepfakes, a portmanteau of deep learning and fake, are ultra-realistic fake videos made with artificial intelligence AI, software to depict people doing things they have never done, not just slowing them down or changing the pitch of their voice, but also making them appear to say things that t. In a survey of one, 231 Singaporeans led by NTU Singapore's assistant Professor Saifuddin Ahmed, 54% of the respondents said they were aware of deepfakes, of which one in three reported sharing content on social media that they subsequently learnt was a deepfake. The study also found that more than one in five of those who are aware of deepfakes said that they regularly encounter deepfakes online. The survey findings, reported in the journal Telematics and Informatics in October, come in the wake of rising numbers of deepfake videos identified online. Over the six months to June 2020, Sensity, a deepfake detection technology firm, estimates that identified deepfake videos online had doubled to 49081. Deepfakes that have gone viral include one with former President Barack Obama using an expletive to describe President Donald Trump in 2018, and another last year of Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg claiming to control the future, thanks to stolen data. Assistant Professor Seiferden of NTU's Wee Kim Wee School of Communication and Information said, Fake news refers to false information published under the guise of being authentic news to mislead people, and deep fakes are a new, far more insidious form of fake news. In some countries, we are already witnessing how such deep fakes can be used to create non-consensual porn, incite fear and violence, and influence civic mistrust. As the AI technology behind the creation of deepfakes evolves, it will be even more challenging to discern fact from fiction. While tech companies like Facebook, Twitter and Google have started to label what they have identified as manipulated online content like deepfakes, more efforts will be. Respondents in the U.S. were more aware of deepfakes, 61% in U.S. versus 54% in SG. They said they were also more concerned by and frequently exposed to deepfakes. More people reported sharing content that they later learnt was a deepfake in the U.S. than in Singapore, 39% in U.S. versus 33% in SG. Asked Professor Seifert and said, These differences are not surprising, given the more widespread relevance and public discussion surrounding deepfakes in the U.S. More recently, a rise in the number of deepfakes, including those of President Donald Trump, has raised anxieties regarding the destructive potential of this form of disinformation. On the other hand, Singapore has not witnessed direct impacts of deepfakes, and the government has introduced the Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act POFMA, to limit the threat posed by disinformation, including deepfakes, but legislation alone is not enough, he added, citing. The government's legislation to inhibit the pervasive threat of disinformation has also been helpful, but we need to continue improving digital media literacy going forward, especially for those who are less capable of discerning facts from disinformation, said AS Professor Seiferden, whose research. The NTU study on deepfake awareness was funded by the University and Singapore's Ministry of Education, and the findings are part of a longer-term study that examines citizens' trust in AI technology. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.